guys welcome back to my channel and happy sunday so as you can see from the title below today's video is going to be a lip swatch video i haven't done one of these in a while and i finally have a bunch of lip products that i kind of feel like are worthy to do a swatch for now the products that i'm going to be swatching for you guys today are by nude sticks and it's their magnetic lip plush paints i've had this in my possession for a while i have the whole entire shade range right over here i just haven't got around to swatching it for you guys and i thought there would be a lot of videos because nude sticks is a pretty well loved brand but once I started doing more research, I noticed that I couldn't find any videos that were women of color friendly. So I thought, why not do a lip swatch, give you guys my thoughts on the products and everything just so that there is a women of color friendly type of swatch out there in the YouTube sphere, you know what I mean? Now, this products were gifted. It's not a sponsored video or anything. If you guys watch my vlogs and follow me on Instagram, you guys have seen that I was working with Nude Sticks. I'm gonna like insert a clip right over here. When they launched these products, I was part of their whole like Instagram ad campaign launch that they were having going on. And they selected a few different people to swatch it and make these cute little videos for them so that was really exciting for me that was my first time doing that with a brand it was pretty fun I had a great time great experience so I thought why not give you guys my on-camera thoughts because I never got around to doing that so that is what we're gonna be doing today so this is the collection right here it comes with seven different shades this is what the PR package looks like it came also with this nice like little steel case a little travel case so if you want to pack you know like maybe two of your favorite shades or something you can fit it in here and you know throw it in your purse it's really really convenient we have some bright reds we have like a little orangey tone we have some pinks we have some mauves we have a brown they pretty much target some really good essential shades in my opinion especially since we are going into the more warmer climates I like that they added some bright colors because we have our essentials and a pop of color if we ever need be which I really love and what I found really cool about these products is that I'll insert a little video here of me applying it onto my face again you can use them for your eyes lips and cheeks like as a blush lip product and as an eyeshadow which was pretty interesting because I've never really used one product Product to do all of that you know what I mean and I found it very cool because it's meant to be for the woman who's on the go so for me the main essential thing that I wanted to bring to this video by swatching it for you guys I want you guys to see what it would look like on a woman of color because a lot of the times when people with more fair skin tone do lip swatches their lips are not you know their lips are pretty pink and you normally just like one tone whereas when you start to get into women of color well there's a lot of women of color who ha who don't have two tone lips but I personally do have more pigmented lips if that makes sense so I just want to show you guys what these products would look like on someone like me who does have more pigmented lips and if you guys are on the same boat as me then you'll know what these products will look like on you and whether it's something that you would want to invest in or purchase after you see it on all right so now that i have you guys zoomed in a little closer what i'm going to do is first i'm going to swatch tahiti hottie onto my hand for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like swatched on there you go. So that's what it looks like. I really do love this shade. I think it's just really, really beautiful. I think it's honestly my favorite shade in the collection. Now, how does it dry down? It does not dry down to a matte formula. So I just want to head to the Nude Sticks website. And this is what they have to say about the Magnetic Plush Paints. So this is their all-over lip and cheek eye color. It's pretty much where plush, luxury, K-beauty, and multitasking all-over color meets long wear performance. Plush, luxurious, soft nudes in a feather light blurring matte velvet texture that is non-drying and long wearing okay that makes sense I couldn't say it's matte or creamy so it makes sense now we understand what the formula is like I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Tahiti hottie on the lips for you guys and this is what it's looking like without any lip liner or anything added to it so as you guys can see it's still very pigmented on my lips like I said my lips are very pigmented so at least the color payoff is still showing yeah I'm actually really surprised I feel like I didn't even need to add anything to it it looks really really good now the next shade I'm gonna be swatching is Bahama Mama this is what it looks like I'm gonna swatch it on my hands for you guys it's just another really beautiful shade I'm here for it. So now we're gonna go ahead and apply it 
And this is what Bahama Mama is looking like on, I think the names are so cute actually. But yeah, this is what it's looking like on the lips. I feel like even this shade is really, really pretty. Like I wouldn't mind rocking this shade on its own. I feel like with this shade, you can definitely see the pigment of my lips a little more, which I personally don't mind. I feel like this looks very nice and natural looking. So I'm not mad at it. It's like a really cute flush of color. What do you guys think? Do we stand for Bahama Mama? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. And now we are on to shade number three. This is Wakiki Rose. I love this name. It's so cute. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, this shade is really pretty. This shade is giving me spring vibe realness. So this is what it looks like swatched, guys. And this is what Wakiki Rose is looking like on the lips. Now this one right here, I would definitely rock with a lip liner or mix it in with another lipstick because on its own, I feel like it is pretty, pretty bright. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below, but I feel like this one could use some help for it to be a vibe. So I'm going to go in with my NYX, of course, lipstick in the shade After Hours. And let's just see what that would look like mixed together. I feel like that looks so much better. So much better. I would totally wear this together. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. <laughs> I'm going to be saying that a lot today because I want us to have a conversation, guys. Okay? I want us to interact. And while you're at it, make sure you like this video because that gets my video more out there and more seen here on YouTube. So help your girl out while you're at it. Okay? <laughs> But yeah, this is what it looks like together. And I feel like, wow, it's a moment. It is a vibe. It is a look, period, okay? Because it looks just so much better, you know? And this just goes to show how mixing your lipsticks with a lip liner and everything can really just change the whole look on anyone you know what i mean like it could just really bring the whole thing to life and then you have like an amazing lip combo so now the next shade we're gonna go into is hot paprika Ooh, this shade is really pretty this is what hot paprika is looking like on and is this not a spring moment is this not a spring vibe or a summer vibe guys i love 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 this lip color and i feel like i'm definitely gonna be rocking it a lot during the summer and the spring just because i feel like it's just so nice and warm and beautiful and like ooh, it's just such a nice tone on the lips like i just i just love it i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my hand for you guys for you guys to see kind of feel like it looks like a nice burnt orange type of shade it's just so so pretty i feel like this would look so beautiful as a blush as well i feel like this one i totally wouldn't mind rocking it as it is i feel like it's just such a beautiful shade but just for the sake of it i'm gonna go ahead and mix it with a brown lip just so that you guys can see what it would look like mixed together i mean guys Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Wow, I actually love this lip combo so much. It's so pretty. Yes, I just feel like these colors are coming out so beautifully with lip liners. This is it, guys. Like, look at that. Need I say more? Hot Paprika is a shade you guys need for once we get out of this quarantine. That's it. <laughs> Hot paprika is what we need to be rocking in these streets when we have our freedom, okay? Because this shade is so, so pretty. Like, it's a perfect hint and flush of orange. So now we are on to our next shade. We only have two more shades left to swatch. This shade right over here is a more pinky mauvey shade from what I can tell from the packaging. But this is called Central Pay. So this is what it looks like swatched. Actually, it's more of like a lighter bubblegum pink now that I swatch it on my hands to be honest but it's not too bright which is nice because I don't really like super extremely bright pinks I feel like it's gonna look really pretty on the lips so let's go ahead and find out um so this is what it's looking like on 
this definitely does need assistance because right now it's looking a little bit ashy it's looking a little bit casket red tea <laughs> on my skin tone it's just not a look on its own so I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it with something else and see if it's savable because right now it's just it ain't it it ain't it chief so I'm gonna go ahead and just fix that up guys it's like a night and day seriously it looks so so much better like so much better it just looks completely different how did we go how did we go from casket ready to the perfect nude lip combo I'm just saying I'm just saying this is a prime example of any lipstick can be saved I'm actually genuinely shocked I thought this was gonna be the first one that I would be like oh, okay I don't really like this shade on me okay central pay okay surprising us I'm not mad at it I'm not mad at it so now we are finally gonna get into the brighter shades I'm really excited for these because I feel like these are gonna be a vibe I feel it in my spirit all right so Time for the next shade. This right here is called Fresh Fiji. I like that name. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on. Oh, wow. She is bright, bright. Like, <laughs> oh my God, I feel like this is gonna be so funny on its own. This is so bright, like, oh my god. I personally would never rock a lip color this bright on its own. We need to take it down a notch, okay? We need to blend it with something else. So I'm gonna swatch it on my hand for you guys so you can see. Really, really pretty. It's a beautiful shade. Like, I'm not gonna discredit it. It's just, it looks crazy on me on its own. So this shade 1000% could use some help. So I'm gonna do that right now. Guys, she has been saved, okay? Fresh Fiji is now normal again. I love this together. So, so pretty. Yes, this looks like a beautiful shade. Now, I would rock this easily together. Easily, easily. Like, no questions asked. I mean... It's such a beautiful shade. This, I feel like, would be so pretty for spring and summer as well, guys. Another post-quarantine look, okay? So, so far, Fresh Fiji and Hot Paprika are the vibes, okay? My lips are crying out for some Vaseline right now. But it's okay. We are almost done. And now, for the final shade, we are on Sweet Sangria. That is what it's called. It's like a reddish shade. So this is what the shade looks like on, and this one is stunning. It's so pretty on the lips. I feel like you could totally rock it on its own. It looks beautiful. I love this shade, which makes me so conflicted because the name of the shade is not a halal type of name. You know what I mean? It's called Sangria. I'm so conflicted. Why is one of my favorite shades have to be called Sangria? But whatever. It is what it is. We'll just wear it and not discuss the name, okay? <laughs> but this is what it looks like. Yes, yes. So this is what it looks like swatched. I feel like this, I could even go in with like a very sheer amount with a, you know, natural makeup beat and it would look so beautiful as like a nice flush of color or topped off with a little bit of gloss. Like, I feel like that would be a moment. You know what I mean, guys? Let me know if you guys are on the same wavelength in the comment section below, but I really love this shade. This has definitely hit the top three shades that I love. In first place for me for my top picks are Hot Paprika, then Sweet Sangria and Fresh Fiji. These three shades, they are giving me spring and summer realness and I love them. I feel like they just look so beautiful on. Those are my top. And then if I have to go for a nude shade, Tahiti Hottie. That's my favorite nude shade from the collection. So those are my favorite top four shades from the collection. Let me know what you guys' favorite shades were in the comment section below. All right, guys, and that brings me to the end of this whole lip swatch slash review. I feel like nude sticks really killed this because I just love how the formula is so light on the lips. It's very, very comfortable. Now, does it transfer a whole lot? Yeah, definitely. I feel like it keeps 
heat's going into my teeth or whatever. So if you're eating, definitely it's gonna be transferring all day type of thing. But honestly, who cares? Just reapply. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, let me know if you guys like the lip swatch videos because I will keep them coming if I come across any other more beautiful collections as well. And lastly, make sure you guys have your bell notifications turned on so that you don't miss out on any of my uploads and subscribe to join the family. And like always, I'll see you guys in my next video.